During World War II, America's armed forces quickly realized the nation needed as much help as it could get. To assist our fighting forces overseas, along with those defending our shores and vital installations stateside, American dogs were brought into the Army, Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard. Dogs had been used by military formations for hundreds, if not thousands of years. In the 20th century, uses focused primarily on sentry-slash-security functions, along with messenger duties, while some of the larger breeds were used to pull small dog carts. The French and Belgian armies had often used dogs to tow machine gun carts in World War I. As America entered World War II, dogs were once again involved in war, performing familiar roles on the global stage. In the early 1940s, the Soviet Red Army attempted to use dogs as anti-tank mines, feeding them exclusively underneath tanks and strapping explosives to their backs. However, the dogs were unable to distinguish between German and Soviet tanks, leading to the abandonment of the practice. After the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, the U.S. Army had few dogs in service. American dog owners formed Dogs for Defense, Inc., to help and donate their dogs to the U.S. Army. The dogs received training to work with security teams at U.S. production facilities and in coastal and beach patrols. However, the civilian volunteers had varying levels of experience, leading to inconsistent performance. In July 1942, the responsibility of procuring and training U.S. Army dogs was assigned to the remount branch of the Quartermaster Corps. The dog training program narrowed the breeds to meet Army requirements, German Shepherd, Doberman Pinscher, Belgian Shepherd, Collie, Siberian Husky, Malamute, and Eskimo Dog. The Army expanded the use of dogs for aggressive patrolling and scouting in combat zones. Several experiments were conducted, including using dogs as mine detectors and creating hunter-slash-killer packs to attack Japanese troops. Initial tests showed promise, but the chaotic battlefield confused the dogs. The same was true for the killer attack dog packs, as they were unable to distinguish between Japanese and Americans without handlers. The concept did not progress beyond testing. During the invasion of Sicily, a German Shepherd mix named Chips discovered an Italian machine gun bunker and attacked the crew, leading to their surrender. Chips was wounded in the action, but was recognized for his heroism with a citation for the Silver Star and the Purple Heart. Despite regulations, Chips continued to serve throughout the war and was discharged in December 1945. In 1942, the United States Marine Corps integrated dogs into their operations, using them as the point man in jungle patrols. This approach was influenced by the 1935 USMC manual, Small Wars Operations, and the Marine experience with trained dogs in Haiti and Nicaragua. Dogs were utilized to detect hidden enemies and ambushes, providing an early warning system against the Japanese opponent's jungle camouflage skills. The Marine Corps obtained dogs from various sources, including Dogs for Defense, the Doberman Pinscher Club of America, and individual donors. During World War II, the Marines trained their dogs for scout or messenger duties, exposing them to gunfire and explosions. Dog handlers were selected based on intelligence, character, physical ability, and previous training as scout snipers. Previous experience as a dog handler was not necessary, but those with an understanding of animals were the most successful. Some handlers and dogs were found to be unsuitable and were reassigned. The first Marine Corps dog unit to see action was the 1st Marine War Dog Platoon, 
which landed on Bougainville in November 1943, attached to the 2nd Marine Raider Regiment, Provisional. The Marine Raiders were enthusiastic about the War Dogs, and their commanding officer reported that the War Dog Platoon had proven itself to be an unqualified success. Several examples were cited in the after-action report of the War Dogs exploits in Bougainville, showcasing their bravery and effectiveness in combat. Examples included Caesar, a German Shepherd, serving as the only means of communication between M Company and 2nd Battalion CP, and Otto, a Doberman Pinscher, alerting the position of a machine gun nest. Jack, another German Shepherd, was wounded but still carried a vital message back from the company, while another dog, Jack, a Doberman Pinscher, helped eliminate a Japanese sniper near the M Company CP. In World War II, there were many American war dogs who fought alongside their handlers. These dogs started out as pets and ended up becoming heroes in the war. As we remember our World War II veterans, let's also honor the four-legged warriors who served alongside them. These war dogs may not have received medals, but they will always be remembered as loyal friends and heroes.